All right, guys, so I have both scooters here lined up and I want to do a size comparison so you can see thickness of the deck and the length. And here I removed the rear cover or the rear fender so you guys can see the attention detail. It's just insane. Every single cable is hidden inside. Even the brake cable, when you put the cover, you can't see it. versus the T100S, you can see the cable. Also very nicely done but we have cable sticking out on the front here. On the GT, no cables anywhere. All hidden around, even inside here, when you put the cover on, all that it's covered. And you still have access to the shock and you can adjust here the response, which is very nice. And this is the cable that goes into the fender where the light is integrated, and look at that beautiful and the pads are thick and that's GT and look at the pads on the P100S very thick pads despite having mechanical brakes they're powerful they're more than enough and do a great job let me show in the front here and you can see that blue color those are the pads and look how thick they are width we have about nine inches and length I would say usable space about 19 to 20 inches and the footrest in the back that's about five and a half to six inches and I cannot stress this enough having a charger inside the frame and you only have to carry this little cable that's so big it saves so much space and it's so much easier to travel we can charge and plug in anywhere. Here, how much more the GT sticks out. And of course, bigger tire and uh, better quality tire here, better thread. And here, also good but different. And we have this uh, hub covers. And look at this uh, hub cover. The same lights the corner, the signal, and the brakes. A lot of resembling and similarities, but uh, so different if you take a closer look. We have similar width on the both models. And somebody asked me, like, can you connect anything on the handlebars? And uh, not so much. I have the quad lock, I have big hands, and I have still room here to hold. And I'll put my phone, you'll see when I uh, do the speed test. That actually works so and I think if you move a little bit here you can make maybe two more millimeters here room and you can put this inside here or maybe fender mount anything thicker is not gonna work and there's no room anywhere else to connect your phone holder or anything like that so as you can see at the first look the same screen but it's not we have a Segway logo here we have here NFC and uh, Segway logo on the bottom, here's just the ladder ring, no logo, and here's a flat surface and it's more metal feel. Here also metal, but uh, looks like plastic a little bit, like plastic if angle a little bit, but still uh, very nice quality and looks very good. Good grips, branding, the same console on the both sides, hydraulic brakes, very soft touch mechanical you have to press a little harder and uh, not so fancy uh, but the screen looks very good and we have the same horn not so loud turning signal that I already showed you and lights on and off here we have the throttle and you have to kick it to start and the modes so I have eco drive and sport you have to double click it to move it and uh, folding mechanism much thicker bar here in the front very stable scooter much thinner bar here and the folding is not so great let me show you guys this is the part i don't like about gt very beautiful mechanism nice coloring and the design so you pull up 
you open and it goes down so it's still a very tall stem here like if you're trying to get in a small car that's a bit difficult the cables hidden inside really beautiful here we have the cables sticking outside very similar open it goes down no cables inside much smaller and they could have done the same thing their cables could have run from inside not sure why they uh, did not do that and this is the cool part i like this hides inside and you hook the the handlebar part right here opens up and you click it there and it's connected very nice mechanism i haven't seen this before on any other scooter and it's very well done and then you grab it and you can go with it i can definitely carry it but it's heavy it's much more compact and uh, it's lighter than the segway gt but still not uh, not light but doable to grab it and load it in your car or let's say if you get in a bus not a very compact scooter not very light but still better than gt series and uh, compared to the specs and other scooters i think it's manageable equipped with 650 watt brushless motor maximum power output 1300 watts the segway kick scooter advertised to enable up to 30 miles an hour top speed i managed to get only 25 miles an hour not sure if the settings or segway team installed the proper firmware on this model once i reach 25 miles an hour i can feel this limitation that cuts off the power at that level and keeps you in 24 to 25 miles an hour range the torque is powerful this model feels like the second fastest single rear hub motor scooter after the gt1 in torque and acceleration picks up speed really fast acceleration 0 to 15 in 2.8 seconds and 23 percent heel grade range running in sport mode all the tests i weigh 215 pounds and my bag with my cameras and accessories another about 15 pounds i managed to cover a respectful 28.5 miles with heavy weight and normal riding with speeds between 20 km an hour up to 35 km an hour in some openings i was flooring to maximum 40 or 25 miles an hour i had to stop at a lot of lights so riding on open road should give you more range the battery we have the same capacity as the GT1, 1086 watt hour, and I assume it's the same pack with the same tech with heat dissipation. Suspension, spring, no adjustability, 1.5 inches of travel for the city is more than enough and will handle off road well. There's some slight vibration from the rear fender when you go really fast over bad terrain or off roading. Ergonomically designed, 10.5 inches wheels, IPX5 rated for the scooter body and IPX7 for the battery and electronics, which is great. Handling. The scooter rides stable and intuitive, very comfortable, there is no throttle gap and will engage with a kickstart. The scooter is quick and agile, does not feel chunky, we have self-healing tires, anti-theft alarm which needs slight adjustments but works. Take a look at the short clip where I try to figure it out and see how it works. Yeah, you can move it, push front and it's for resistance, let me show you guys, so I let it go and goes back by itself, and it beeps, and then it stops, let's see when it's going to engage again. This is interesting, it's not engaging. I cover like 10 yards, maybe 15 yards already. This is weird. All right, it's engaging again. And the tires are not locked in yet. Just beeping, that's all.
Yeah, not sure why the tires are not locking in. But you only get the beeping and the blinkers with the noise. Now the tires locked in again. And you can push it as resistance. So yeah, only the front tire is moving. The rest, the back tire, it's locked. The cruise control option can be activated via app and pressing the multi-function button. And there's a bunch of other options in the app. Charging up to seven hours. Have uh, the display showing the percentage. And you have the side battery indicator. The more you charge, the higher it goes. And also in the back, we have the light that is uh, continuously active. Maximum low capacity, 265 pounds. We have three riding modes, eco up to 18 kilometers an hour, drive mode, Set up to reach 40 km an hour or 25 miles an hour, but accelerates gradually on a slower side. Once you turn a sport, accelerates way faster with the same 40 km an hour or 25 miles an hour top speed limit. The lights, the turning signals and the body design and the all new features are extremely well done. The scooter will be available in August this year. I think Segway team did an impressive job this year on GT and P-Series scooters. And when it comes to design and features, I think they're the leader in 2022. Starting from lights, tires, display, NFC technology, anti-theft option that needs a bit of polishing, but I have not seen this feature in any other scooter so far. Building quality overall, water-resistant ratings, compact form, really makes P100S a great commuting scooter. It is priced high, but you have a lot of extra here and the build quality, it's phenomenal. This was a review of the Segway P100S model. If you like this review and you found it informative, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video. It helps a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.